All right, guys, I did not think I was going to be making another video about these Air Jordan 1 University Blues, but some new information just popped up. Shouts out to the homie Kiana for letting me know this information, and I'm pretty sure this will help a lot of people out there that took L's on these Air Jordan 1 University Blues. Um, I still do not think the price will dip. We're going to talk about all that, but you do have another chance to get these joints for retail. Yes for retail. What's going on everybody, man? Thanks for pulling up to the channel. And if you clicked on this video, it's probably because you took an L on the Air Jordan 1 University Blues, or you're trying to get another pair. You're trying to double up, throw one on ice, so you can rock the other one because this UNC Air Jordan 1 is a super sought after sneaker. The colorway pops, and you want to rock it during the summertime. I feel you, man, especially with those white laces. I'm telling y'all, they super fire on feet, man. So here we have them right here. Check them out, check them out. We have the Air Jordan 1 University Blues right here. Let's go ahead and pop them out of the box real quick. I just like looking at them. I like looking at them. I had to get them when I did. All right, guys, so for these Air Jordan 1 University Blues, most stores still have not gotten their shipments. I'm talking about everything under the Flex app, the FLX, everything, Foot Locker, Champ Sports, Foot Action. I think it's another store called like Six or something. I forget what it's called, but the main three stores, Foot Locker, Champ Sports, and foot action did not get their shipment for these air jordan one university blues so this is your perfect opportunity to be able to cop these things for retail so pretty much the information i got recently was that here in san antonio i know all y'all about to be happy here in san antonio uh the couple of stores that have not gotten their shipment yet one foot locker and i think it's a couple of chance sports that have not got their shipments even the GS size is a kid's foot locker. I'm, probably, I'm trying to put you guys on. Shout out to the homie, like I said. But you have another chance to get them. Whenever they get their shipment in the stores, pretty much like we've seen with all those Air Jordan 1s getting released in Miami, Florida. I think it was the Biohacks. I believe it was a smoke. It was a couple of Air Jordan 1s that that Miami uh, foot locker, I think Chance Sports and Foot Action all had. The same thing is going to happen for these Air Jordan 1 University Blues. So whenever they get these beautiful sneakers in their inventory, that's when they will put them on the FLX so you can try to reserve a pair. Yes, I, I couldn't believe. I was like, yo, all these stores didn't get their pairs? I wonder if this is going to mess with the resale value. I don't think that at all. Trust me, I do not think that not one bit i don't think this is every single store in the united states i think it is a couple you know ones and twosies i know for sure here in san antonio a lot of stores have not gotten their shipment yet and i know there's a couple of other people in different locations different states that haven't gotten their shipment yet for their stores either man so this is a perfect opportunity like i said if you took an l you don't want to pay that resale value uh this is your your, your best chance your, your best shot at getting a pair of these beautiful beautiful Air Jordan 1 University Blues for retail. That's crazy, man. Uh, I paid that resale value. I do not think these stores getting their shipment in is going to affect the sneaker, you know, uh, the value of this sneaker at all. I think it's still going to stay up there in that 430, 440, 450 price range just because it's not like a bunch of pairs that have not been out to these different stores. Like, I think most of the pairs is all online. And then some pairs, of course, was on the Nike Stingers app. I think it was like 20 or 25,000 pairs on the Nike sneakers app itself, but you still got to think about Hibbit Sports, you got to think about DTLRs, these different shoe palaces and stuff like that. Um, all you know, sold their shipment or whatever they had of these University Blue Air Jordan 1. So, this video is not just to help people that need a men's size in these joints right here, also, kids' foot locker. I want to emphasize that again kids foot locker and some locations will be getting these joints in as a late shipment man it's, it's crazy i haven't heard nobody talking about this literally the homie hit me up and she was like yo she like yo a couple of stores here said that they will not be doing a first come first serve on their late shipments due to a safety violation like you know everything has been going on a lot of people have been fighting a lot of people you know what i'm saying be getting hurt over trying to you know wait in line and get these sneakers people cut lines People don't like that of course it's going to cause some chaos and cause some commotion it's going to be a very very dangerous situation for the employees and the people that's actually trying to get these joints for the collection so that's why they will be moving these to the flx app the flx program whatever you want to call it so they don't have to deal with anybody getting hurt police being called ambulance and all that crazy stuff they're going to do everything through the reservation on the flex for Foot Locker. 
Champ Sports, and Foot Action, man. So call around your local area right now. Like, I don't know what time y'all areas close, like, you know what I'm saying, Foot Locker and stuff like that. But first thing tomorrow, call them, ask them how they doing it. I know that's how they're doing it here in San Antonio. I don't know how your area is doing it, like those bigger, you know, major cities, probably like Atlanta, you know, Chicago. Some of those big smiles might still do first come, first serve, probably because they don't feel like, you know, inputting all the names, inputting all the inventory that they just got, and they might just throw them on the shelves. I know that's happened plenty of times with past Air Jordan 1 releases where, you know, they got a late shipment in for a pair of Jordans. Again, guys, I can't believe it's another opportunity for us to get them. Uh, but honestly, man, if I can get another pair, that'd be super dope. As you guys do know, I wear a size 9, and I had to get a size 8.5. It's the best price I could find for these University Blue Air Jordan 1s. Uh, so I had to take it, you know. So if I can get a size 9, that'd be dope. Have one to throw on ice and have one to rock as soon as possible. Uh, you know, usually I don't wear my Air Jordan 1s or any of my sneakers within the first couple of months of them even dropping. But this is giving me the perfect opportunity to throw them straight to the feet and have another pair, you know, sit in the drop front and grow in that resale value, man. These Air Jordan 1 University Blues is a great great sneaker for trade bait i know it's a lot of people the demand is crazy for these right here and i'm pretty sure that you can trade for something that you took an l on even maybe later on down in the year uh when something drops and you took an l you can just trade this get something you might even get some cash back depending on how high these joints go in the resale value i wonder how this release is gonna go i feel, I feel like it's gonna be very very interesting and i wonder how it's gonna affect the resale market so whenever you guys do find out that information please come back to the video let us know down below. It's probably some people around your area that's probably watching the video and a bunch of people that really, really, really want a pair of these beautiful sneakers. The best Air Jordan 1 of 2021. I feel like the Cool Gray 11s might get the edge as best sneaker of the year. Uh, but these right here, as far as Jordan 1s, hey, top notch. You go ahead and mark it right now. The best Jordan 1 of 2021. That's why everybody wants it. The man is crazy. This one is super, super limited Air Jordan 1. It's just a UNC colorway. There's a lot of people that want that original, you know, UNC. The actual UNC. A lot of people point out in the comments that this is an actual, you know what I'm saying, color to match the UNC colorway for their uniforms. So again, guys, please let me know if you have any other information down below in the comment section. I'm very interested in knowing. Uh, hopefully in your area, they do not do first come, first serve. That would be a that would be a bad day. Like, seriously, you guys know how everything been going. It's going to be a lot of commotion, a lot of violence, and... And we don't need all that. So hopefully they do everything on the FLX so people can reserve a pair, walk in and get their sneaker, go home safely, and enjoy their sneakers. I appreciate everybody for pulling up to today's video, trying to help you guys out. Uh, a lot of people don't have that 450 to spend, 470 going to be $500 in the very, very near future. So getting these joints for retail will be very, very clutch for you guys. So I'm hoping I can help a couple of people out by staying tuned, calling their sneaker stores and ask them how they're going to do with their late shipments in the Air Jordan 1 University Blues. I did want to point out one more thing. Usually when people see that their location is not getting the sneaker that they want, they just forget about the entire store and just go to the next one and see if they're getting them. But that probably means that their shipment got delayed or something going on with the shipping or something like that. So please go back and check. Call around your local sneaker stores and stuff like that and see how they're going to do the release, if they're going to get them. And just ask some questions about these Air Jordan 1 University Blues. Make sure you guys subscribe to yourself if you have not subscribed already. Hit the notification bell so you never miss any other content that drops on the channel. And please, man, last but not least, smack the like button. That really, really helps the channel grow. And with all that out the way, with all that being said, hopefully I can help a couple of you guys out. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace.